All right, y'all. If you haven't heard by now, uh, I'm here to tell you that it's official that Young Thug will be coming home um, on 15 years probation. All right. With a lot of backlog time. If he was to mess up, he'd be looking at 20 years to serve. But first and foremost, before we start the video, I want to say subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below. Thugs coming home. Collective opinion, Jeffrey would have been found not guilty of everything. So this is very painful. But that's another three months or so in custody. And he wants to go home to his family. And negotiations totally broke down with the district attorney's office. Horribly broke down. And at that point, we believe that justice will be found with the honorable court. And Jeffrey just wanted to go home. I take full responsibility for you know, my crimes, for my charges. Uh, I want to say sorry to my family and my mom. My mom got 11 kids. I can't say all their names, you know. My managers, my kids is not here. Uh, really, everybody that got something to do with this situation, I want to say sorry. Having so much time investing into this, you know. I am a, a, a smart guy, I am a good guy, and I really got a good heart, you know. I, I find myself in a lot of stuff because, because I was just nice or cool, you know, and I understand that you can't be that way when you reach a certain height because it could end bad. And it, and it don't really have to have nothing to do with you, but it can end bad and it could, you know, fall on you. And I know <clears throat> the choice is yours, is up to you. And I hope that you allow me to go home today and, and just trust in me to just do the right thing and never see you again unless it's, unless it's at a you know, bar in the future or something. Just out of this type of situation, I promise you I won't ever be in this type of situation again. I'm, I'm going away. I've learned from my mistakes. You know, I come from nothing and I made something and I didn't take full advantage of it. I'm sorry. Uh, through these last two and a half years of my life, you are really, truly, honestly, the best thing that has happened because you made, made everything fair for me and everybody involved on both sides. my family and just do do better as a person. I know what I bring to the table. I know what I am. I know the heights I've reached. I know the impact I got on people, period, in the community, you know, all people. I learned that late, like past, these past two or three years of my life, I kind of learned that late. And maybe it was because I was probably on drugs or anything, I don't know, but I have came to my senses and I understand what I mean to this world, but I am a good guy, you know, I, I, I don't mind doing stuff like, you know, like uh, free shows, and I always did that, you know, I, I did free shows and gave it to single parents, millions of dollars, you know, I made $1.8 million on, on a free show and I gave it all to single parent charity, and I did like two or three shows that made like $700,000 a piece, and I gave it to breast cancer organization, like, you know, I, I, I do things, I put millions of dollars back into my community, for real, I really did, I did more than anybody ever did from my side, you know, but I understand, you know, rap lyrics, I understand how it can be twisted, I understand what it can do to the mind of people, I understand all that, and I'm, I promise you, I'm 100% changing that, you know, it's just, I'm older, I'm grown now, you know, and it's just like, I'm smarter, I, it's more things to rap about. Like I, I've experienced a lot of good things. I experienced more bad things, but I experienced a lot of good things too. And I wanna I wanna give y'all my my full opinion on the track. I watched 
I watched since it been live stream on uh, Law and Crime, the trials, and uh, I ain't gonna lie, I I knew they was gonna win if it, once it came down to the verdict, but I didn't foresee Thug taking a plea. Now you can clearly tell going through this trial, being in jail, that shit was taking a toll on Thug. You dig? So I understand. I understand why he uh he took the plea. But you know, look, at least he get part of his freedom back. At least half of it. He out of he, he out of, he out of jail. He from behind bars. That's the that's the most important thing, man. Thugs out. He's not behind bars no more. You dig? So I can't say one of my favorite rappers that I'm growing up on. Other than the Migos takeoff specifically, you know, it's good that he's about to be out. Well, he's out. He's home, and uh, it's also good, good. It's also good to say that, you know, against all of the non-factual, you know, non-factual nothing. I don't know. I just none of the evidence really. You know what I mean? Pointed the finger at him and said, hey, you did it. Here's exactly what you did. You know what I mean? Here's the theory of what you did, but what was presented this whole trial. But um, I'm glad Thug's home. I can't wait to see the first interview. And uh, once that interview comes, I guarantee you, I will be reacting to it. All right? I don't know who it's going to be, but I know it ain't going to be Adam 22. And that violated his parole. <laughs> it's it's going to be somebody. I hope he sit down with like 60 minutes or something. You dig? So, something, something that ain't going to put him back behind bars. Someone who, who's going to look out for his best interest. You know what I'm saying? Shit, even if he sit down in front of a camera and tell his story. Which is a great one to be told. Um, I wanted to keep this very short and simple. And I hope y'all enjoyed the edit before the video and uh all i can say is welcome home thug make the best of your opportunity and i can't wait to hear your, your first album your first album i know it's gonna take i know you're gonna take a couple years off i already know but i can't wait to hear your first album and i'm glad you're back dog till next time peace Black boy making it home, black boy ain't making it home. Trying to eat the cracker dome.